everybody. It's good to see you all again. This segment is just to kind of let you guys know what is going on in this episode. So in this episode, there is a situation um, towards the end or anywhere in this episode, there is a blank. That means there is no sound coming in the episode. And you might think that is your fault. That is my fault. You can blame me, say it was my fault because that is editing problem and that's because of recording and the recording platform that I use. If that happens to be in the in the episode, if that's in it, um, what you need to do is to just disregard it. Don't worry about it. Consider it like an ad break. Consider it like a break. Consider it like we're taking a five minute break. Consider it like that. So no freaking out. No need to worry. Make sure you guys enjoy the episode. Enjoy what's in it. And y'all have a good one. And enjoy this one. Really enjoy it and have fun. And please disregard the blanks in there because of the breaks. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. And thank you guys for understanding and for your cooperation. Yep. Yep, surprise. Yep. Now we are. Now we are. Sorry. Forgot to give a little hint there. Hi, guys. Hello from Wrap It Out. It's good to see you all. This, this time, this is big time. This is big time. I usually don't have this, but this is Lee Wright. And yes, I know that a lot of you have no idea. If you've been on Rapad, he is one of the most amazing songwriters on Rapad if you're on there. If not, then this is your chance to meet him. He is, he wow. is actually one of my favorite writers of all time. I've gotten inspiration from him. And he's somebody I looked up to on Rap Hat as a songwriter myself. So welcome. It's good to have you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh. This is, this is a dream come true. It's this is it. <laughs> How you doing, man? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this this is a dream come true. Like it was it was exactly a year. Like I remember all yeah. the messages I tried. Like I mentioned it to you many times, and you said I couldn't That's do it good. because of my job. I couldn't do it. Yep, yep. There was just a lot of you know. Even with that, it was my first job. I was really happy about it, but w- the problem was I was stopped from continuing what I actually love doing. So I had to try and work my way, you know, even harder to you know do what I love and all that, and then. I had to leave state because originally I was working in, in Pennsylvania, but then my family were like, no, you know, you should probably just come back. And I'm like, all right, I'll come back. And they purchased a plane ticket and I came back. And next thing I know, my music's blowing up and I'm getting fans and, you know, meeting all kinds of people. And um, I'm happy for the people listening to this. And so this is truly a you know blessing to be on this because I, I was waiting for this moment as well. And it's just, it, it's so cool that, it's now finally happening. So <laughs> this is yeah. this is nice. Like this is the craziest thing like a long time I've ever had. Like you were one of those you were probably one of the best. So you're you're one of the best, like ever. <laughs> like let's just be real, you're one of the best. Um I absolutely loved your written stuff that you made. That inspired oh, me. For sure, for sure. Like, I got a lot of respect from that. And, like, as a plus, as a plus, we collaborated on a song which got over 100 mm-hmm. props, I believe. I have to check again. It did. But, it did. Like, but that was, like, amazing. Like, I even asked, like, or, did, or yeah, I asked, and I didn't know you were going to actually say, yeah, I didn't actually know we were going to be able to collab, and then yeah. boom, it just did. I didn't even know either. It it just happened so fast, and the next thing I know, it's like, oh my gosh, bro, the 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 props on our song are just skyrocketing. Like that was that was a cool moment in the rap pad career. Yeah, I mean, it was amazing, and it was in my catalog, so I was able to for sure. For sure. I was, I was able to truly say that I climb with Lee Wright, and you just have a whole. <laughs> You know, you have a whole army on rap pads. Like people respect you. They, <laughs> oh they love you. They, you know, they have tons of respect for you. And you're, you're like you a do. writer's favorite. <laughs> Thank you. 
I do. I do my best. Um, it's actually interesting. Before, like, I started rapping, I, you know, I didn't even hear of it until my mom actually introduced me to like classical music first. And so I'm just thinking, all right, you know, classical music's cool. You can just, you know, listen to them a bit. And then she introduced me to people like reggae, and then she introduced me to hip hop, and then that's when things started to kick off. And you know, I started doing hip hop, and it was just like. You know, then I, I fell in love with it. And then I didn't think I'd actually pursue it today. It's been 10 years because I was writing lyrics and vocaling for 10 whole years. But offline, I was really just trying to focus on the vocal, I guess. And then I wouldn't show. I, I, I used to walk around, you know, show a bunch of people in public being like, hey, I can rap. They're like, all right, spit some. I started just rapping in public. But um. So it kind of just, I mean, I always question how the people that I did rap for in public a long, a long time ago are. And I mean, even if they are out there, I, you know, I give that a part of my inspiration craft because a lot of people tell me like, what's your inspiration? And well, even though I listen to like a lot of hip hop music and, you know, Mas Def, Tupac, Common, you know, all those crazy people, Rakim, I mean, it just, just all those people and, you know, Eminem, but Eminem, he's kind of just, you know, it's Eminem. <laughs> but um, the point is, I, I think I found my inspiration from like the hip hop beat, not exactly the artist, but then I found out like, wait, I know these guys are saying words. So what if I were to correlate that with like a dictionary? And actually, when I first started writing, it actually was, in fact, with a dictionary so then i just started writing down some lines i'm like okay that's pretty cool but then i knew there was more because it wasn't just the english dictionary but then i looked into religion philosophy math science you know all like all that kind of stuff and it just had me thinking what if i had everything <laughs> but it was in the form of a dictionary so then here i went from just talking regular english and then i could talk about like mythology I could go about talking um, the quantum gate or something. And, you know, it, it, like, like it went from this small thing to something really big. And I, it's been with me for, like I said, 10 years. And I'm trying to make it to my 11th year, which would be next year. And then hopefully I'll just continue growing in that area. And then um, my first rap battle, it was like, it was like, all right, you may have the knowledge, but how are you going to do if you're going to go into a rap battle? And I'm like, oh, man, I don't know. I've never rap battled anyone before. And they're like, well, this is your chance. And when I did, I did lose my first rap battle. I, I sucked. You know, I failed. <laughs> and then um, that's when I was introduced to um, multis and, you know, different styles of rhyme. And then I'm like, wait, what if I were to incorporate every single rhyme stream? into my style and then i was able to take like different parts of rhymes and then i would then start to do different things with it and then um yeah so things like i said things started out small and then they just got bigger along the way and then when i was really young you know in the process of hip-hop i actually do in fact have a learning disability you know, I didn't know I was going to be on the autism spectrum with Asperger's. And even though people are like, oh, you know, it's a negative defect. I was just like, so what? You can always turn a negative into a positive. And writing was what made that positive. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, that surprised me. Okay, that's, I won't lie to you. I, I did not know. You were on the autism spectrum. Did not know. Yes, um, yes I that am. was shocking. But that explains everything. I remember, um, and this is the quote: "You would do like a whole spree, like, mm -hmm. like guys, like I can actually, if I could, I would actually show you the many messages that he would send to me." Yeah. Saying, um, actually, the links, and before it was the links, he would send me random lyrics. And he was yeah. some ones, and I'd be like, "Cool, nice." Um, <laughs> I remember that. Next. So you want to see some lyrics? I'd send you lyrics and stuff. It was, uh... <laughs> oh yeah. 
And to me, that felt special to me, knowing that you want my feedback, because you're on the top yeah. of my list. I mean, you, oh, really? Vince, uh, Maverick, Psycho Puppet, like, wow. um, yeah. like, y'all on top of my list. I mean, the next, like, you and Goats have already been here, so I've already got two of my yeah. icons and idols right here. Like, I've already got y'all two. That's so cool. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but this whole thing's cool, and wow, this is so exciting. Um, yeah, for sure, for sure. And what kind of got me curious was, um, how did you make this transition from written to recording music? How has that been? Like, how's that been? Like, wow. I saw like links there. I saw so many links of you recording. Like, how's that transition yeah. been? For you? How did it start? Well, it all started basically when, you know, I was doing writtens and all that. And I'm thinking, you know, I know I need to upgrade. I know people aren't going to be able to just judge your skill based off of a written. And so what I did was, was I'd actually dive down into more music producing. So then I'd be here just making more beats. I still, in fact, make beats and everything. But then it was like actually... You know, my I started vibing with my own beats, even though I get a lot of hate and some support <laughs> with my beats. I'm just like, you know what? I don't care. I'm just going to keep doing this because this is how it's just how you learn. And in my time will come if I were to figure out something new in music theory or I find that really cool new plug in or synth wave or, you know, whatever it is, it might be. But like, I just know, like the DAW doesn't matter. What matters is, is how you work with the DAW, how you work with your beat, how you work with the rhythm and the melodies and everything. And then I just kept producing, producing. And then I'm just like, well, I, so if I'm able to produce, what if I just keep making more lyrics? So then it went from multitasking. I was now able to simultaneously write lyrics, simultaneously make the beat. And then it started to become songs. And then that gave me the speed to keep making more songs. I'm just like, wait, I can now just easily make beats and now I can just easily make lyrics. And then it's like, you got, you got like a walking label, like a one man just <laughs> doing, doing all the work. And I actually don't record with a mic. I actually um, got this new phone for my fam and everything. And um, I actually record like my, my mic is the phone and I'm able to like mix and master from the phone. I don't need like an expensive mic. I mean, like I've I've had a, I've had some people come up to me and being like, "Hey, uh, isn't the expensive mic the best thing for a dude?" I'm like, "Actually, no." You know, I mean, you can even have like a micro recorder or something like that, and you could just plug it into a computer, and then you can mix and master it. You just gotta know how. And so I don't I, because like I'm not you know I'm not I'm not wealthy or anything like that, but I learned that sometimes you can use what you have to still make something sound good. And that's what I've worked with for, you know, my whole life over the years. Ah, uh, that's, that's like very, that's like very powerful. The way you just kept pushing. And yeah. You started from your phone and yet it was yeah. amazing. Yeah. I mean, let that be a lesson to everybody, you know, even from that little recording on, you know, a phone, you could be huge. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it was so uh, unique when you shared, um, firstly, I didn't know that you were going to do that. I didn't know. Like, I didn't get a warning. I didn't get a message saying that you were going to make a switch and then boom, it just happened. And <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Like, what is that? And then after a while, I was like, okay, I'm starting to like it, you know? I'm starting to yeah. like what I see. I'm starting to like what I see. Um, and you've been up in your game. I've seen it. Um, I've actually invited you to a lot of different things, too. I've yeah, wanted to um, sure, sure. get those things going. I remember I invited you to the party i did i did a couple things too i even invited you to the concert which god i wish you oh, yeah. would because the songs were amazing oh thank you i'm hoping that when the next concert hits i'll be able to 
I'll finally be able to bring something. So hopefully music video. <laughs> Yay, it's so exciting. I mean, we are playing the next EP in 2022. We're having a lot of them next year. So you heard, you know. I, I did hear about that. Oh, yeah, you already know. You already know. I do, I do. News, uh, news travels fast. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah i mean you're in the same server as i am so news is gonna no, of course. so we're both seeing like the same things going on uh, the last event actually the last two events that i saw i you know decided to look at everything and be like hey i'm gonna just check out wrap it out podcast and the other collaborative music that you did with other people and i honestly out of my favorites that I've seen, it was, um, gosh, I forget his name, but he's the guy that did the Bright and Early song. Oh, oh I, think, I think, oh, it was Trusk. Yes, Trusk. I, I honestly loved his work, and it was like, wow. And I, I just wondered how... He started because in one of the events on the videos, he was actually in like a recording booth with a producer on the side <laughs> working the beat out as he was going. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, Trusk is he's, he's getting he's getting it, too. It's, it's so like and I could see that he was also doing inspiration and passion through everything and all that, too. And I'm just it just, you know, like that, that, that was just really cool to cool to see in one of the events. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look in my world, you know, I was just so amazed as you are when I heard it. I I knew him for a while, I did. Um, yeah. And when I saw him, when I did, I was, wow, I was like, it was... I, I was, was wild too. Know, just like, yeah. that, that guy's going to go places. And then he, he did, did his like, first live concert in front of people, and I was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. He actually did both. He actually did in person and virtually. So he's going places. Yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. Yes. I mean, I love his performances he did with us, but I loved his in-person yeah. ones. I didn't even go to them, but I saw him on Instagram and those were mm. amazing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like those were incredible. Um but you also, so it's a high level right now. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> high level oh yeah absolutely now here is something that i did want to i was curious with too now with okay. all the new music coming out um with all the new music coming out like i don't know mm -hmm. when is your next big project i'm not talking about just a single like talk about oh, not singles. my album. next big project that, that might be coming down i'm hoping in 2022 because um yeah, that project that's gonna be that's gonna be a fun one. Sometimes I do singles a lot just cause. But if I were to do like a second album again, um, I, you know that that would just be cool because um, I I could probably talk more about my experiences and you know things that are happening and all that with like the world. But um, yeah, that would also be cool, like a second album for 2022 that I did and then. I was thinking getting features because I know nowadays it's really hard to get some and, you know, with all the planning, but that would be cool to do. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can get the right person. You came to the right person. Like oh, I have you, I have you with five features right now. Wow. Yeah. No kidding. Incredible. Yeah. I mean, that's the, probably one of the best parts. Uh, about the shows that I get connections and I get people mm -hmm. into music just like I am and I get those perks as well. So funny because like before this interview, I actually Googled Wrap It Out and you popped up and I'm like, what? <laughs> Wait, I did? Wait, you yes, searched you... a rap hat or Wrap It Out? You you search Wrap It Out podcast and your, your podcast actually comes up. It's well, like yeah. the first thing that comes up. It, it's weird. <laughs> Not really, like, you know, you don't know that we're the only podcast that's named Wrap It Out. Like, no one has the name. Like, I no, completely like, own the name. Like, that's fine. Yeah. It's really cool. Like, you really are blowing up. 
<laughs> yeah, so, my dude. I mean, we gotta keep it moving around here. I mean, just look at all the amazing things coming up. I mean, we gotta yeah. we gotta do it big. Yeah. And you're doing the same too. You're crunching out music. I mean, mm-hmm. I was lucky enough to get a feature with you before you went to writing. I mean, to recording, of course. I mean. And I was considering it myself. People's been asking me lately, which is weird. Um, they've been asking me lately about it. Which is so if, weird. if you would do vocal. Yeah, and a few people have heard me. They actually have. A, they, wow. a few, like a few have heard me. And some people, when I ask, when I used to, I used to do a segment, but I don't do it anymore. But when yeah, I did a yeah. segment, I would ask them to dare me and like those and some of them would dare me to sing or rap and I would do it and they really say that they like it. That pressure to a rap, you know, that's just like you're you're on you're on the spot. <laughs> not really, not really. If they ask me to sing, like if you ask me to sing, I've been singing forever. I've been singing oh my since, gosh. I, was months, since I was five. Like wow. I've been singing for a while. So if you ask me to sing rapping is some is a little something else, but I'm sure I could pull up a mm-hmm. rim and just acapella rap it. That's really cool. That's that's great. Oh yeah, and by the tone, you probably want it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> true, that's true. Uh, now you're not wrong, then. <laughs> Wait, you actually did? No, no, I'm jo- I'm joking with you. <laughs> Oh, so. damn it. Why did you do that? <laughs> I joke sometimes, bro. Um, I remember one time, another, um, I guess another thing that happened in my life, I would, um, it was my cousin and I, and we would actually bike ride together. And he, um, he started rapping and beatboxing. He could beatbox. And then, you know, we would just be bike riding down this trail and he beatboxed and I did a rap. Like some like I used to be really good at freestyling, but I guess since over the years, I guess I, you know, had a fall back. But at the time I used to definitely, you know, freestyle with my cousin. Then we'd hit for his house and he'd, you know, open up garage band. I'd be the guy using FL studio and you know, he'd just be making beats. I'd be making beats and then we'd start rapping over each other's beats. And then um one time he actually did invite me to his friend's house and you know his friend pulled up his friend's own music's playing in the radio he and i get in the car and we're driving to this guy's house and as we get out and everything and you know set up and stuff he's playing mf doom beats he's playing old school stuff and um he ended up freestyling just off the top like i actually physically got to see this guy just freestyle and i'm just like whoa like i mean I mean, I know it was possible, but seeing it in person like that, it, it was definitely something that I just was like, I, I automatically thought about Kansi. Uh, like that was like the first thing that came to my mind when he just started going off the top freestyle and rhyming, you know, throwing all this stuff in. And then, um, and then his friend started flowing, but he's, he, he worked like, I think my influence for like Japanese mythology and a lot of Japan metaphor isms, if you may, kind of came from that. And then that kind of inspired me to try and do Japan. And then I met somebody who was from Egypt and then he started rapping about like Egyptian stuff. And then that's where I kind of got the Egyptian mythologies. And then there was one point where I did have a breakthrough in my writing where I was writing about like something with like neurology but then i was able to take different topics that don't even relate to each other and then i was able to make more for like different punchlines into them so first i could be talking about like you know how the solar system is or whatever to then making a punchline like the whole punchline could just be something like with neurology or mythology so then here i'm now making punchlines from topics that don't even go together, but I'm somehow still able to make them go together. So it was kind of like a fusion of things that weren't supposed to form, but then they, they just formed anyway. (laughs) So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's been crazier things than that. I mean, that's not even amount of crazy. That's not even the same amount 
if not even. Yeah. But the way you've been going crazy, I mean, I'm sorry about the compliments. I just, I just oh, want it's to all good. It's all good, man. I mean, like, you have no idea how much it meant to me that you said that you could do it. Like, yeah. I um, I was sobbing. I I was literally sobbing when you said that. Are you I, kidding? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on. Like, when your idol says that they can do an interview with you, it's almost like they're asking. It's almost like they accepted your invite to hang out with them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, but it, it was crazy because, like, I mean, I never. Like, I, I think the other interesting thing is I never, I never grew up with a dad, but like, I grew up with like my mother, my grandmother, and my sister, and all that, and they, they helped me continue pushing forward. And my mother's actually uh, an art designer, fashion, so she's doing like all these big events with other people around the world and stuff. And then she makes soaps, she makes candles. So like my family were definitely part of this creative thing. And then my grandmother told me that a long, a long time ago, there was, there was a band that used to play on a radio. I forget their name, but then she's, then she looked at me, she's like, I wonder if the band that played on the radio, like that were our relatives. I wonder if that was blood driven to me to be where I'm at right now. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I always wondered about that, like our, our history and all that, because she, she said, you know, our history was music and, you know, a bunch of people did these bands. I have one relative who made a, a vinyl shop and he called the store named after our my uh, grandfather. And um, I went in there and he's got collections of like Tech Nine and Tupac and, you know, like. Like it's a whole vinyl shop, and then he has like a bar on the side of it and everything in Colorado. And you walk in, in there, it was just like it was like it, it was like home already and stuff. So it was it was really cool for that experience to kick off as well. Yeah, I mean that's crazy. You have you the, you got the spectrum, and now you didn't even grow up with the with a dad. I mean, nope. dude, like like I feel that I've seen a yeah. lot of people, you know in my lifetime and even here like that does not have that and yet you're flourishing no. you know you're flourishing you're still you're growing like that's amazing thank you thank you <laughs> a lot of um and actually i never really had a lot of real life friends but um in real life i guess you could say i, I had one good friend and he would also be listening to music too but it wasn't like hip-hop he would be listening to like country and stuff but he also inspired me to, I guess, keep going, you know, just to just continue the passion and see where it leads you. And I was always like, all right, I'll just I'll just keep going. And then I got online and actually I built most of my friendships and most of my experiences were online. And. And then, you know, a lot of things kind of just they, they just happen and the you know, it's it is what it is, really. <laughs> so. Well, yeah. you, you, well, you already know that you already have the one. Yep. And dude, you're gonna find all. You gotta find lots more. You're gonna find lots more. I oh, have, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Like Here the doors you. are just gonna open. <laughs> it's like this is it. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've came to the right place. I have actually have met so many incredible people. And the best one, besides this one and the other one in 40, um, has mm -hmm. to be DC Glenn was probably one of the highlights mm -hmm. of season one. DC Glenn, I've heard of that name. Yeah, everybody went crazy. I was like, well, he's a Grammy winner. They they, they went crazy over the interview. They were like, oh, you got a Grammy <laughs> come here. They, one person just said, hey, hey, real. And I said, look at this email he sent to me. Ask for one. Wow. That's huge news, <laughs> to be completely honest. Yeah, I mean, I didn't expect it. I was sobbing then, too. I was like, 
and I fainted. It was like my, it was like, uh, my my friend walked and he was like, uh, "What the hell's going on?" And he saw me faint. <laughs> he saw me actually lying there, and he oh was my like, God. Hey, dude, "Are you okay? Like, what the hell's going on?" Yeah, and, he knows nothing, and here you're just having this like emotional breakthrough. I've had those yes. before. Too. It was just like, wow. Yeah, I mean, I mean, come on. How often can you get a platinum Grammy winning artist on the show? I mean, to that's like, email that's you. Like, like, that's absolutely insane. Yes, I mean, that's one of a kind. Like, yeah. That doesn't just come out of free. I can't just ask Drake for an interview. Like, that doesn't come out of thin <laughs> air. Like, that's like a destiny thing. <laughs> It'd be it'd be cool to interview like someone like Common or something like that. I know, I know, and hopefully, maybe it will happen. Maybe, maybe. I mean, the route you're going is 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 just it's just blowing up. I remember when you first started your first episode on Rap Pad. It came out, and I listened to it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this guy knows what he's doing, and you know, it's it, it was huge. It, it was it was marvelous. And then you went from having one episode to being like what three seasons in. I mean, that that's that that's just absolutely phenomenal how you were able to still like do that. So that was just really cool. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, thank you, you make it. Oh, you're making me cry again. I got I got <laughs> Oh man. I mean, like it's a lot. I mean, if you I mean, if you could be in my shoes right now, you would know that it's a lot. No, I'm sure. I mean, yeah, you always got to stay on your toes. You always got to keep moving, keep grinding, keep working. And then I heard the harder you work, the more successful you would actually be. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. yeah did you already know i mean that's number one i mean that's like probably one of the best you know yeah uh, things i could tell you in life i mean that's probably one of the best yeah i mean i heard that my parents grew up with us telling that and that would really that would really get me going um mm -hmm. and that really got me th that really got me there um yeah literally did that really got me there for real um god i'm sorry it's just i'm just too blown away um oh yeah you're fine you're fine <laughs> i mean god um actually i'm gonna make things interesting like this um now Congrats, by the way, of all the new song came, coming out. Oh, like the yeah, thank you. Like the <laughs> last song, I believe, was like Levels Two and Knowledge. Yeah. Um, Motivation um, probably my favorite so far. Oh, thank you. Um, the thing about the levels thing. So with that, I'm working on like. So there's for me, there's like 50 levels, and that's 50 songs, but each level is something different. So I level one, it's like, okay, that's what I was used to. Level two, that was like a change up. But then each level is eventually going to keep, it's just going to keep going higher. And then once I reach like level 50, that's just going to be a more expanding on just how complex you can actually make something and, you know, enact on just the creative prospect. Because honestly, I'm doing it for the more creative part of it and stuff like that. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Like that. Like that's its own thing. Like I'm not. You know, it's not an album. It's just something I love doing. It's, it's a hobby. Because <laughs> I know, Dude. like, because I know, like, in rap battles, they're like, you know, there's levels, but then they say the cuss word, and actually, um, I actually never cussed, like. I mean, well, actually, no, that's not true. I did probably cuss a little bit in my lyrics because I was venting about a lot of stuff. But once you I, cursed you know, in all of them, <laughs> I, I, I used, I used to cuss in a lot of songs. But then, um, I think 
I think the breakthrough was I was stared down and more faithful, you know, connection with God. And then I ended up just not cussing anymore. Like the recent stuff, I haven't really been, haven't really been cussing and uh, just trying to keep it clean. And um, I'm doing a challenge of myself because I started actually rap battling again, but I'm thinking, you know, you can probably start rap battle, but you don't have to say all those cuss words. You don't have to talk about all those girls, all the clubs, all the guns. You, like you can actually still technically be true to yourself in rap battle and i remember uh, my friend he was yeah, getting though. yeah my friend got dissed and i you know i stood up and i ended up dissing that one guy oh, but yeah. i didn't cuss and then i had you know two other people diss me and everything and then i just found myself just rap battling and i think the shout out to that is I am going to continue doing rap battles and everything and, you know, join the leagues. But instead of cussing, I'm going to do it. So where to where I'm not, I'm not cussing. I'm going to, you know, keep it clean, keep it straight, keep it with emotion, have the metaphors, the punchlines, you know, have the rhymes. I mean, like, like with everything I was taught, you know, I'm going to bring it to a league and try and show people that you don't need to be someone else to in order to get successful when the best thing you can do is actually be yourself and you can build up your own success like i've had a lot of people again ask me what's my inspiration and i told them my inspiration was actually from my heart when i laid my eyes on a dictionary and just started writing it out and the hip-hop beat my inspiration was actually never a hip-hop artist yeah i may have listened to their music but to break it down I realized that the people that already made the hip hop music, see, they already made it. They were already in success. But then I thought, okay, if those guys are already successful with with what they're doing, then, then shouldn't like we be ourselves and build our own success instead of trying to follow the success of someone who's already successful. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if people did more thinking like that, there probably would be less shitty things going on. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I love the emphasis, especially female, especially, don't even get me started on female rapping. I love it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, I like uh, it, Snow the Product. Uh, oh, yeah. And... Almost, um, it's almost what you did was that you know, in in music, mm. in in rap, you just you just extracted uh, the beautiful uh, tunes and yep. just emphasized it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I love the emphasis too. I mean, I'm I'm a songwriter, so that's why I'm, I had to do all oh, the time. <laughs> I've seen a lot of your stuff. It's great work. It really is just amazing work with how you're able to write, but then you have like all these features you can just, you know, feature with and all that. But I'm sure like when you started it, you had to build up to it. And now you're here, you are just like blowing up and a lot of people are, you know, seeing your growth. And, um, you know, I respect that, like all the work you've done, like everything, motivational you brought to different artists that are independent you know i just thought that was the greatest thing the fact that you're reaching out to independent people when record labels aren't doing that so i'm thinking what if you ended up making like a record label that would you know help independent people grow like Uh completely change everything (laughs) yeah i mean Actually, this is the first time anyone's ever mentioned it to me. They never once said that I could be a record label. They never said that once. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm really serious. No one's ever said that. Wow. But yeah, I mean, dude, let's just be honest here. We don't get opportunities. We don't get those opportunities. Well, we get opportunities like in real life, but we don't get those opportunities, you know, like, you know, like we don't get like, yeah, like we don't get 
Republic Records hitting us up and emailing yeah. us about, you know, wanting to do that. Like, we don't get those. Yeah. And, you know, that's sad, you know, that they're mm-hmm. struggling as much as, you know, as much as other people are. And we don't deserve Absolutely. to struggle. They deserve to have help. They deserve to have somebody, you know, be there for them. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, I mean, that's... Actually, yeah, absolutely. And that's how I felt when I, this year, when I moved from rap, I realized that there's so many artists that deserve to be on a record label. They deserve to win a Grammy. They deserve, they deserve so much. And they don't get that. They don't. They, don't get they have to work harder and harder and harder every day promoting, um, promoting and joining Discord servers and growing an Instagram page and, you know, doing all this stuff. And, you know, when, you know, they don't have to work as hard, you know, and that's why this is here. Like, I've seen people, their music has grown because of being here. Like, and that's the first time that anyone's ever really mentioned a record label. I've never considered a record label, to be honest. Wow. That would be that would be insane if you did build a label because I mean you're you, you've already reached out to independent artists and you've already showed a lot of people the respect that even to me like some people you interviewed on this podcast I actually was like finally a podcast that's actually giving recognition to hardworking people that deserve what they finally are able to have deserved and stuff. So that that that's just huge to me how you you put all this together to you know talk to independent artists and being like hey so what's your life like and then it's just like wow wow so it just again it, it blows my mind how this the, even this I mean and and to be honest with you I've I've never actually been on a podcast before so the, w- this experience like this is my first time and um so. Like I've never, cause I've always, you know, looked at famous people going on interviews all the time and all that. And I'm like, wow, I wonder if eventually I'll get on a podcast like that. So the fact that you brought this to life really actually makes me happy because I don't mind like telling the world like, Hey, you know, I mean, even though we're all in these rough places, we can eventually get out of those cracks and be uplifted into what we love doing and actually be shown that recognition and respect of just everything of all the hard work. It's kind of like, it's kind of just, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Yeah, absolutely. And that's kind of how I'm going with the, you know, the show. I mean, that's how I'm going. I mean, rap head was a nice star. You know, I used to hit up rap right. head members and ask for an interview, but, Rap had small, and it's a whole mm-hmm. vast, there's a whole world of people that, you know, they would like promotion, they would like those opportunities, and that's what I also do. Yeah. I help promote them, and I give them opportunities that, you wow. know, they, like, you know, that they could use, like, you know, like this, for example, somebody in my other interview acts, and they want to, and they want to be part of a record label. I don't have yeah. one, but my but I have a friend who runs a record label and I was like, hey, I can run it by him. He's active and he's looking for people. And he was like, wow, really? And then I proved to him and I passed him along and now he's signed to the record label. He's actually signed. Congratulations to that guy. Wow. That's, that's, there's going to be huge opportunities coming his way. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I want to do because we aren't given opportunities even when i was younger i feel them that's how i was when i you know when i was small like texas yeah i'm a black i'm a black person like i'm black and i had to live in texas you know um mm-hmm. you know i had a lot of talent i you know i enjoyed writing i was very good at writing i was really good at reading um wow. i just didn't get recognition i never got recognition do you know how that feels like when you oh, do absolutely. something when, you can do something absolutely yes. phenomenal, but nobody reacts to it. And then you're just there like, but it the the work, I put the work in. Why aren't you yes. why aren't you doing the yes. Yes. Like it's just yes. like it's like they judge you silently when you know that you've reached that, 
you know, potential point. I mean, yeah, I've, I've been there too. Like it's, it's, it, it, it was frustrating for a long time because like I would be working on lyrics a lot of that people were like, Oh, you know, you suck. You don't, you know? And then I finally pushed myself to be like, all right, you know what? I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep trying because you know, that, that sometimes successful people have to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And you get it. I mean, that's how I felt. And yeah. even in school, I felt like that because I was very, very smart in school. I didn't get a lot of opportunities. Like other people got opportunities. They got they got to these special societies and they got awards. Thing that yeah. I didn't get. I didn't. Well, I got little awards. That was the only thing. But I didn't get like a big spotlight on me. Like I wanted that. I wanted recognition for the shit I was doing. And yeah. I was looking at artists and I was looking at them and they don't have, you know, a, well, uh, well, some, some of people, some people that I've interviewed, they have a big platform. Some of the little ones, some of the small ones that are either just starting out or they just put out their first single. Yeah. They're the ones that need help. Uh, That's right. I mean, those are the ones. Those are the ones that need it. And guess what? The yeah. world isn't doing anything. Like the world mm-hmm. doesn't care. And they're not doing anything. Like they're not exactly. they're not helping. They don't care. And those record labels only give a shit about um the big the artists that they can take. Exactly. Yeah, higher. Yes. Mm. They do that. And I feel bad for them because they deserve so much more than what's there. Exactly. Like, they deserve a lot more. I mean, they deserve so much, and they're not getting it. So guess what I have to do now? I'm going to come in and save the day. Like, if they're, like, upset, I'm going to be like, hey, you want a little interview on my show? And they're like, wow. Like, I've yeah. never, um, I've never been on a podcast before. Like, and I, I'm like a superhero almost. It's like, I'm like their own personal superhero almost. Yeah, you technically you kind of are. I mean, you're saving independent artists and finally giving them the respect that they were working so hard to even accomplish. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, and especially in a world where we need more music as possible. Absolutely. I got to help them out. I mean, I mean, like, you saw me promote all my stuff. I'm not I doing did. that just for whatever. Like, I'm not just promoting mm-hmm. that shit, like, just whatever. Yeah, no, you're you're promoting it because you're showing people, like, hey, you know, there is a spot for everybody. So you can, you can just, you know, it's, I mean, it's not even advertising. I mean, even, even if it is p- promoting, there's actually a lot more to it. It's like, like, when you, when you show all that stuff to different people, you know, it, they, they should think of it as a way being like an opportunity for them also. And when you find opportunities like that, it can actually open so much more doors in your career, in your life. And then your dreams then become this reality that you can just focus on be like, Oh my gosh, you, you know, I finally made it to the top, but you know, I didn't start out on the top because everybody starts at the bottom somewhere. And then for you to grow, you got to keep, you just got to keep going. And then the more you keep going, the more doors begin to open for you. And then it's just like, wow, you know, you finally, you finally made it. Yeah, absolutely. And they've been like that too. Like they finally got the, moment they're like especially when i told them about opportunities and they're like this is my happiest and this was because of wrap it out that i did this like it was because of them like and that makes me Mm -hmm. happy knowing that they're getting what they want because i remember a time in my life where i wanted you know i wanted stuff and i couldn't get it and nobody would help me of course i had my parents Mm -hmm. but in the real world though nobody gave gave a fuck about me like now people care about me well, like, yeah. like before all this, people didn't. And I had to but, do something. So I had to, like, fuck it off. I had to go and find help myself. You know, that was struggling mm-hmm. for a long time. Of course, people fell in place and they came, you know, they went and came. 
like those came came in place and I appreciate them like they're the love they're like the love of my life um but now I have to do that for them yeah because they're all struggling and I have to do that if I don't do it who will honestly who is going to do it exactly somebody eventually had to rise up somehow and be like hey the world needs music but like sometimes listening to all the higher people that already made success it gets tiring eventually the world's going to want to listen to new stuff so what better way for independent artists to finally you know come out and be like you know let's let's show the people something new yeah and I believe the world needs that too. Enough already yeah. with Drake. Enough, enough with mm. Eminem. We need to get some new newness in here. We we need to get more. Exactly, exactly. We do need to get more for sure, for sure. Yes, absolutely. So I'm going to keep interviewing. I'm going to keep doing it until until the time comes so. and ended. But until then, until then, there's still artists that need my help, and I'm going to go and. I'm going to go and help them the best that I can. I forgot to say that um, when my cousin's friend freestyled with that one guy, I um, asked like what his rap name was, and I looked up on Spotify, and this guy actually featured with Shylin Flowers, but then I did research on Shylin Flowers, and Shylin Flowers actually got a feature with Tech 9 Like, I was so close to just, like, I was so, I really was just so close, but my cousin didn't contact him anymore and stuff. But, like, my cousin and I would have, like, almost met Shylin Flowers. And then Shylin Flowers would have almost had us meet Tech (laughs) 9 So it was, that that was kind of crazy in itself. Yeah, I mean... And those opportunities come by. Those come by. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, even now, like, I realized I saw that you needed, um, you wanted more promotion, and I saw that, well, you're doing great so far. Um, Thank you. You're my idol, of course. Um, I just figured it would help out a little bit. I'm sure it will. Figured, like, Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And just, wow, I've even learned so much just being here. Like, I, this is this is different. Usually I would have it all structured, but it was like, eh, it's my idol. We can do whatever the hell we want. We can do whatever. Oh, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, you're my idol. You can do whatever the hell you want. I mean, you, you're the one that helped me get started. I was a songwriter. Right. And, yeah. Huh? That's that's really cool that you say that, but I think um I think what I'll do is continue bringing like motivating music to people cuz I know it's really hard to find music where it's like, you know, who's who's really showing their heart in it. Like we're like with like let, let's forget about filter words that make an entire album let's actually think beyond and see if we can actually like touch hearts for what work we're doing like where's that at yeah absolutely absolutely and people's had that sense for a long time they've had that especially the young Mm -hmm. ones Um, they've had that for a long Mm -hmm. time and i guess no one could emphasize it for them or they couldn't understand on their own so you know, yeah. I guess we have the world to thank for the, the lies. For sure, for sure. Um, the thing that I know I will be challenged in my future is, like, when I came back to see my fam, my phone was just blowing up of, of a bunch of these random people being like, are you famous? Are you a celebrity? Like, are you, like, like your your music's great. You sound successful. Like, who who are you? And I... I kind of just had to th- put the phone down and just think to myself because I don't like, what if I don't want to be famous? What if I don't want to be a celebrity? Like, what if I just want to keep continuing the good music and still, yeah, show people, but I don't want to be known as famous, you know, cause fame, it, it destroys people. And I know 
a lot of people can get like multiple chances into rising to the top. But what if I don't want to rise in the top? Like, what if I want to just stay in the middle, you know, cause like, cause like fame, it just, it, it, it creates egos. You get fallouts, you start feeling this control of power. And, you know, I don't, I mean, I don't want control of power. I just want to literally be myself and try and bring good music to people and hope when people hear it it's actually a gift to them so because it'll just be something that they can finally like relate to or they can just you know like just just stuff like that and i know fame and ego don't go well together and all that but like when a lot of people tell me that i kind of really did just sit down and think i'm not famous yeah i mean Fame does that to you. I mean, we've seen really it in does. real life. We've seen what fame does. We've seen it happen. Like, yeah. it's a lot. And, you know, yeah, I have yeah. to remind them sometimes. You know, like, I wouldn't want that fame either for me if I was a musician. I would, exactly. I would not want them. You know, I just want to, you know, you know, wait. I just have a good analogy. It's oh, almost like... It's, it's almost like a wedding almost, you know, like a wedding and all this mm-hmm. pressure because, you know, when you're married, you know, you know, like death to his part, you know, and questions having yeah. kids and, you know, really deciding what you want to do with life. You know, that's what musicians yeah. are. Fame, you know, fame causes pressure to see, like, what's next. What's the next project going to be? Like, you know, sometimes you just want to enjoy music because you like music, you know, not because you exactly. want people to know who the fuck you are. Like, you enjoy no. music because that's part of you. Exactly. Yes, and I felt that in you too. Like I didn't really see you like trying so hard. Like you put out music because you loved it and because you fucked with it. I do. I really do love it. And you know, sometimes opinions are opinions. Like I've had a lot of you know negative opinions. I've had a lot of positive opinions. But in the end, I kind of just was like, just doing my own lane. <laughs> yeah, I mean, something you gotta be like that. I've gotten some remarks on my show as well, and I'm like, eh, I don't care, because I'm doing it for me, not for you. <laughs> exactly. You're doing this because you love doing it. Yeah, I mean, and you gotta come to realize that when you're doing your craft, like, like what's more important, you know, the people or yourself? Like, is it more important exactly. for them or for you? Exactly. And I think to really like, you know, you know, relate to that emphasis, I think it's like you really are just doing it for you being yourself. I mean, sure, you may be putting yourself out there, but at least as long as you're true to yourself and, you know, continuing to move forward, I think everything would would be fine. Yeah, I mean. We need more trueness. I mean, people, you know, they're starting to get into music and they're doing the opposite of that. They're trying to be exactly. something. They're trying to be the next, they're trying to be the next Mariah Carey. And they all try to sing Mariah Carey and they want to be like Whitney mm-hmm. Houston and they try to sing like her. And rappers, they try to be like Drake. They're trying to, but what about you? Are you trying to do this for fans, money, or is this about you? Like, I've always think- loved musicians that did it for themselves. Like, you know? Exactly. And I think what it's about is we're doing it because we love it. I'm not I'm not doing this for money. I'm not doing this for fans. I mean, sure, I talk to people and, you know, I don't mind showing them my music and all that. But even though though they give like different inputs uh, deep down, it really is just me loving the music and the fact that I'm able to just create my own music. Because I remember when I first started, I didn't I didn't have producer equipment. I didn't have what I have now. I mean, I, it literally was it literally did start as a paper and pen with a book. <laughs> like that was it. Oh my god! Wow, really? Yeah, I never typed on a computer my on lyrics and all that. Like it literally was just writing, and then. Um, when the years came and everything and you know my fam kept buying computers it was just like cool i might as well just start but even with that um i actually wasn't introduced to computers until like 
way, way down the road when I had my one good friend and he's actually in the military right now, but um, he's a guy that introduced me to the computers and all that. And then that's when I just did my research. And then that's when the, like the multiple screen idea kicked off because with my multiple screens, I'm able to like, like one window could have all online dictionaries and all the records of them. Another one could just be like of definitions and, um, and then I, I could like just implant all that hard work on my phone and then I would be getting more bugs if I ever did go back to the pad and pen or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, for real. Um, and at least you got that option. That's what's so good about multi talented is that, you know, that's yeah, one of the pluses yeah. too. Like if you went to paper, you like, you already know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Ellie, well, you're multi talented, so you already know. So if those things happen, you you have yeah. the confidence knowing that you that you've experienced those things and you already know what you're doing. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we're matching. We're matching brains, all right. And uh, speaking of matching, um, uh, no way. I'm not talking about love or anything. Um, mm. about to leave actually to our little showcase. I call it that now. I have to be fancy now. Um, I call it showcase oh, yeah. now. Okay. Ooh. Come on, guys, what you got? <laughs> Come on. It's time. You knew it was oh, coming. Wait. Wait, 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 what's coming? The showcase! I told you earlier! <laughs> oh, the showcase, right! Um, I, I, you got me lost. Oh, you want me to You want me to rap or something? Oh, the showcase. Oh, what do you think I was going to What do you think was going to be? What do you think I was meaning by showcase? I was going to do like, so, like crazy sound effects or something. I don't know. What? Oh uh, yeah, man. I can, I can. Yeah, I can do this. I can do this. Actually, yeah, I can uh, show. Dude, we're in a Discord. We're in a Discord voice channel. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I know, I know. Oh, it's all good. Okay. <clears throat> Writing astronomy and written with solar. I'm more phonologies defective functioning like a clitic cluster. Lack like lust. Luster, lack lusters, just show stoppers, showing a stop, flow rocker. My wave is a drive up like wheel stands, must be like Superman with some steel hands. They said I write like Shakespeare, said I got a dictionary in the brain sphere. Let's make clear that if I'm the word y'all looking up, then how come the smoke they toss in their thinking storm disappears like vapor? Bless when I've written material, Welsh brand, I write, I poetize. Freedom of speech in a world where I used to get demoralized. Spent some time working on this craft, even though I'm on the spectrum, hit for the right direction. They react like an activity chemist. My brainstem just thought connects. The connects was a power moving electric. That was, that was, mm -hmm. that was it. <laughs> wow. Impressive. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Guys, you hear that? That was pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, you should be signed on the label by now. Oh man, I wish. I've been I've been trying, man. For a long time. Well, I've been trying. Well. What if I told you that your dreams could come true right here? Right here. Right here. Right here, like right now. Yes. No I know way. that sounds. Yes. Wait. No. Um. No. Here comes the big surprise. All right. Oh my god! What is it? Um, what is it? Your dream or a record label is going to come true. Are you Are you serious? You're serious. I'm this, this, serious. Isn't, this isn't. This isn't like this is a filter words or a joke. Like, are you Are you actually no. serious? No. Yes, actually, my friend, the one I was telling you about, they are part You're of a duo called yeah. I've heard of them. Doing... 
I've heard of them. Aren't they the ones that help you out with like the music festivals and stuff? Yes, uh, you oh are most definitely right. Yes, they run a label, and I give them references. They actually ask me, "Hey, musically, can you give us some references? We're looking for musicians." I'm like, "Yes, I have lots of oh them, and so, and they're online." And guess what I'm going to do right now? No way. <laughs> No way. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Are you serious right now? Oh, my gosh. Yes, I'm typing. Oh I'm telling him. And I'm, I'm arranging a meeting right now. Right now with, with, with this guy. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Uh, I've always wanted to be a part of a label. This, this is it? Are you serious? Like, oh, my gosh, bro. Yes, Thank absolutely. You. Thank you. Wow. I don't I don't know what to say right now. This is huge. Yeah, I mean, I'm the one that makes dreams come true. Yep, I text him right oh, now. So my gosh. So and I gave him your Discord tag. So tonight he'll be speaking oh, with you tonight. Oh my gosh. Thank you for this opportunity, my dude. Wow, I am blown away. That happened so fast. Dude. Oh my gosh. That happened so quick. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm flabbergasted. I can tell your your mouth's all open. I am, dude. I'm jaw dropped right now and just emotionally like, what? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you did say you wanted to get your own record. You wanted to be part of a record label. And guess what? Yeah, I know I somebody who runs a record label and he's active and I refer artists to him. So it's a problem. Oh, my gosh. Wow, thank you, dude. Oh my gosh. I had I had no idea this was about to happen. Whoa. I know. Were okay. you expecting like me to play? Were you <laughs> I was expecting just like a good job and everything. I didn't I didn't think I, well, I didn't think about this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a surprise. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's an amazing surprise, dude. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's my yeah. Christmas present. I think I got my Christmas present early. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you, dude. Wow. I can I can't wait. I mean, I know I've always wanted to be like a part of a label and I was thinking of building my own, but like if this has actually happened, maybe I don't need to build a label because what if I'm now a part of one already? This is this just changed everything, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, totally. Well, I told him all about you, so he'll probably meet up with you tonight. Now don't get all crazy. It's mm. uh, it's a chance, you know. He might not, you know, he is he's very good, but he gets the good artists, so good luck. Yeah. I'm so excited. And here comes the bonus. I got a bonus. Oh my gosh, thank you for this. I cannot Absolutely. I cannot wait to meet him. Well, I need to. Well, I need a rap from. Rap from anything that makes you look good. <laughs> true, true. And as another big surprise, I'm going to release this interview early enough for you to see it. When do you want it? I'm taking dates okay. right now. Okay. I'm taking dates. Any. Any day in December you want it early, let me know, and that's a guarantee okay. you can have it. Wow, that's so cool. Let me know, dude. The, the, the offer is going to slip by you. Oh, my gosh. The offer is going to slip. A lot of my fans are going to be like, what? <laughs> I'm already in what? I'm, I'm still in shock mode right now. Well, you know what? Um, if you can't tell me now, I'm gonna. Um, you can just text me later. Oh, okay. But yeah, um, those were the two presents. 
two Christmas presents. Oh, thank, you. Thank, you, thank you so much for this, man. Oh my gosh. Immortal Being Record Label. That's going to be so cool. I love the name. It kind of, that's, that's nice, dude. Well, they're actually called Ingematic Electronic Entertainment. Oh, oh, okay, okay. That's yeah, Immortal it. Being is the duo that runs it. Oh, okay. This is incredible, man. Thank you so much. I say to you, thank you for being here. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. This was, you know, this was more fun than I thought it was going to be. Oh, yeah. I remember when we first started, we were like a little, you know, pulling through and then right, like, like right here. It, it, this is awesome. This was a great experience for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And this was really great to finally get to really meet you like this. And hey, we might be working together. I do a lot of projects with Ingematic, so me and you will be in business a lot. Oh, that's going to be so awesome, dude. I cannot wait. Oh, yeah. So, absolutely. And a third present, a third. This one's going to come okay. later if you want it or not. This is, this is optional. I have okay. Discord servers. And actually, um, they're actually great communities. They are huge communities. Well, actually, I'm just kidding. Not huge, huge, but they're pretty but good. They're Some of them... Some of them run interviews. Some of them do events. So um, send them like my if way. You want them. <laughs> oh yeah, I definitely will. Let's do, it. Let's do it, man. Send it my way. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna send those over probably in like an hour or so. Um, right. thank you again for me. Um, any last Ooh, words? I actually get to meet you too. And um, yeah, I think my last words is um, I can't believe that the doors that I was talking about earlier, like they, they finally opened and this is what it, this is what it feels like. And like, thank you so much for like giving me a chance and everything and, you know, watching me grow and prove that like I can, you know, finally, you know, I, I broke through the cracks. I finally, and then it just like, it all just happened. It's just like, now I'm about to get into a label and like, I, I really did wanted to go into a label for a long time, but I did apply to some, but they didn't accept me. And I did show hard work and a lot of rec, like I didn't get the recognition. So this truly is a blessing. If really, this is a blessing for me to be given this new opportunity so thank you actually like thank you so much for this really like it's like it's it isn't just like a regular thank you like th this is a thank you where it's like oh my gosh my dream is actually about to happen and i didn't think being on this podcast would actually help me grow and to do more and you know i've always you know i've always wanted to be part of like a music team and, you know, pursue my happiness and, you know, collaborate with so many people. And you kind of just brought a lot of that to life to me. And I just, I just thank you so much for that musically. Like, I thank you that much, dude. Like you just, you're like, you're about to make me cry, bro. Because like that just, that was just so like, oh, oh my gosh, man. Like, it, it, like I really was working those 10 years trying to get somewhere and now like you finally just opened that door for me so again thank you so much dude like oh my gosh oh that means so much to me oh that's so sweet shucks man <laughs> uh well, while you go grab some tissues and you oh, yeah. kind of take in all of this, you, you, go ahead and take in all of this. Um, I know you might oh, need some time to take oh, this sure, all in. Sure. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I cannot absolutely. wait. I cannot wait to collaborate with you and do so much more about what's going to happen next. Yeah, dude. I mean, I'm excited. You're talented. They're talented. Y'all need to get together and do something. Okay. 
Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. And y'all, how about y'all make it happen? Y'all make sure to check out Lee Rex down below. I'm gonna make sure to include all links. Um yep. he, he gave he gave the links to me already, so I have those. Um mm-hmm. thank you all for tuning in tonight. This yep. was a very special one. Um this is very, very special. And you saw a magical thing happen, a magical thing. And hey, if you guys are looking for record labels, Engematic is the place you want to go. All right. That's I'll see ya. That's the place you want. Oh look. That happened. Oh yes, absolutely, absolutely. Right, Y'all ready. make sure to go to. Oh look at that! He's already starting to leave. Look at that! Oh wow! He's being too quick. Um, what is the last time? We Head over to immortalradio.ca. Um, head there if you ever okay. want to get your label yourself. Ask me any questions you would like. If you're thinking yeah. scammer or anything, you've got those. Okay, cool, cool. You guys are true to the art, which is really amazing. Thank you for having me, dude. Yes, it was my pleasure. Thank you for being here. You've made my day. And y'all are making oh, my day by changing Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'll see ya. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's trying to rush out the door already. He's trying to rush. Um... Thank you all for watching. Don't be idiots and not check out Lee Rice. Keep on supporting musicians. Keep on making them great, making them greater. Don't be idiots and not check out the amazing talent here. I will see you all on the next interview I do. And as far as musician goes, I take all musicians. So if you're ever looking for a place to call your own, you're looking for a platform to be here, you're looking to improve, Rapid Out is the place for you. And hope you guys have a wonderful evening. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Peace. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, guys, oh. one last thing. One last thing before you get up. Uh, before, oh. before you. Excuse me. Before I go. Oh my gosh. I just want to say stay positive. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. literally all I wanted to say. <laughs> I should have taken longer. I should, I should have. I should. All right. As now, this is the end. Now, this is it. Thank you yeah, guys so much for tuning in. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.